If there was a fragrance you wanted to stick a straw in so you could drink it, this would be it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanna to share with you a gem of a fragrance that I believe is very underrated. I don't hear people talk about this particular fragrance a lot. I hear them talk about the brand. This is by far, so far, my favorite indie fragrance house, hands down. Hands down, you guys already know what I'm gonna talk about. From the House of Kerosene, this is Summer of 84. Can we just have a moment for this bottle, please? Ever since I first laid eyes on kerosene fragrances bottles, I knew that I had to try them. I, <laughs> oh, I don't know how to describe this. So in a word, grapefruit. If you despise grapefruit, then run fast and run far away from this thing. This is a grapefruit bomb. That's not all that it is, but that's 90% of what it is. So if you don't like grapefruit, you will not like this, okay? You've been warned. Um, I did not know if I liked grapefruit until I was served it in this kind of capacity. This thing is so refreshing and it's so juicy. John Pegg always writes sort of like a a three to four sentence story about all of his fragrances. I'm assuming he's the perfumer behind this one. It was not clear whether it was him or somebody else. I've yet to see him credit a different perfumer. So I'm assuming it's still him. Um, he's the perfumer behind all of the fragrances so far. This one was released in 2017. I'm still assuming it was him. If if you have different information, then please let me know. I wanna give credit where credit is due. He relates it to grapefruit soda is what his um, thought process was behind it. There's other notes in there, of course. It's considered a little bit aquatic. Yeah, it's considered fresh aquatic. I see the aquatic features in there, I do, because it is very soda-like, it is very thirst quenching. It's not overly astringent, it's not overly sharp for being, sip um, for being grapefruit. It's not overly like piercing, but it is powerful, make no mistake. You will smell like this fragrance for 48 hours. It's an absolute monster. If it has been a thousand degrees where you are, like it has in Houston, and you wanna be cooled down a little bit, this is your guy. He talks about he talks about popsicle wrappers too, and it's so interesting because now that I know that, when you smell it, you get like in the mid to like dry down, you get this syrupiness in there, and you can't really tell what kind of popsicles he's talking about. I would venture to guess like grape or orange, but you get like this hint of like syrupiness, which is really, really cool. And it's really, really fun. Um, there's a little bit of melon in here too. I don't get a lot of melon, but I do get like the watery aquatic feel to it. The dry down is still very much grapefruit, but it's a bit musky too. So you get burst of citrus, a little bit of like syrupy sweetness, and then like this watery musky dry down. But that grapefruit stays very present throughout the entire life of the fragrance in my experience. This is absolutely unbeatable though. It's completely unisex. It's the best take on grapefruit that I have seen thus far. So bravo to John Pegg and the kerosene team. It is an absolute stunner to me. And if you are still boiling hot, and if you love a good citrus, my God, please get this because I also think it's a year round fragrance, but you cannot go wrong with it right now in the summer months. So that is Summer of 84 by Kerosene. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Leave your comments down below. Let me know if you have gotten your nose on this fragrance. You can find samples of it essentially everywhere. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know what else you are loving right now. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.